In this video, we're comparing SEMrush versus Ubersuggest, two popular tools that help you grow your website traffic through search engine optimization or SEO for short. We'll go over how they handle keyword research, site audits, reporting, and pricing. So by the end, you'll know which one fits your needs best. And by the way, you can get an extended 14-day free trial of SEMrush. That's double the usual seven days. It's the perfect chance to test out all the tools and see what SEMrush can really do for your business. The link is in the description. And before we dive in, just a quick note, some links in the description are affiliate links, which means I may earn a small commission if you make a purchase through them at no extra cost to you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And now let's jump right in. How did I first discover these tools? I started with Ubersuggest years ago when I was looking for a free tool to find keywords. It was simple, fast, and gave me enough data to start writing blog posts. Back then, it didn't have many features, but over time, it got better. You can now use it for things like backlink analysis, SEO audits, and keyword tracking. SEMrush, on the other hand, came into the picture when I needed something more powerful. I had a few websites that were getting bigger and I needed deeper insights, like which keywords competitors were ranking for, what kind of content was trending, and how my site was performing over time. That's when I gave SEMrush a shot, and I've been using it ever since. Which tool gives you better keyword data? This is probably the biggest difference between the two. SEMrush has a huge keyword database, over 26 billion keywords. When you search for something like Amazon or Canva, it gives you millions of ideas. It also shows keywords variations, related questions, and long tail keywords, plus search volume, keyword difficulty, and a cool feature called search intent. That means it tells you why someone is searching, whether they want to buy, learn, or just browse. That really helps when you're planning what kind of content to write. Now, Uber suggests is smaller, and that shows in the results. It pulls data from another company called Moz, and it usually gives fewer suggestions for the same keyword. You'll still see volume, cost per click, and difficulty, but there's no search intent or question filtering. For casual use or beginners, it does the job. But if you're doing more serious keyword research, especially at scale, SEMrush gives you more to work with and updates its database more frequently. How do they compare for site audits? Site audits are basically health checks for your website. They show you what's broken, what's slow, and what needs fixing. Both SEMrush and Ubersuggest offer solid site audit tools. You enter your domain, and they'll crawl your pages and tell you what's wrong. Things like missing titles, broken links, or slow loading pages. But SEMrush takes it a step further. It gives you a site health score out of 100, breaks down issues by severity, and even suggests how to fix them. You can also connect it to tools like Trello or Google Search Console and assign tasks to your team if you're working with others. Uber suggests reports are easier to understand and feel less overwhelming, which is great if you're new to SEO. But it doesn't scan as many pages and doesn't go quite as deep when it comes to technical issues. So if you're running a small blog, it might be enough. But if you're managing a bigger site or working with clients, SEMrush is probably the better option. Which one is better for content ideas and strategy? When you're stuck on what to write next, this is where the tools come in handy. Ubersuggest has a feature called Content Ideas. It shows top performing blog posts for a keyword and gives you a sense of what's popular. You can see estimated traffic backlinks and social shares. This is useful, but it's more of a curation of external ideas rather than generating custom topic clusters for you. It also comes with an AI writer that can generate basic articles, which can be helpful for brainstorming. This is essentially an AI powered blog post generator that drafts an article which you can refine. However, while convenience, the depth of optimization and guidance is not as robust as SEMrush's tools which focus heavily on refining human written content to meet SEO guidelines. SEMrush goes much deeper. Its topic research tool shows you topic clusters and subtopic ideas based on a main topic, along with keyword volume, difficulty, and search intent. There's also an SEO writing assistant that helps you optimize your content as you write, recommending keywords, checking readability, and even scatting for plagiarism. SEMrush also offers an SEO content template that analyzes the top 10 Google results for your target keyword and gives you actionable guidelines, like semantically related words to include, recommended text length, and ideal readability level. You can use this template directly within the writing assistant. And once your article is live, 
the post tracking feature monitors how it performs over time, tracking rankings, social shares, and overall visibility. It's a much more advanced way to stay on top of your content's impact. If you write a lot of content and want a system that helps you plan, optimize, and improve over time, SEMrush gives you more control and better data. Ubersuggest is good for quick inspiration, but it's not as strategic. What about pricing? How much does each cost? This is where Ubersuggest has an advantage. Plans for Ubersuggest start at $20 a month, and there's even a lifetime deal where you pay once and get access forever. That's super rare for SEO tools. You can also get two or five user accounts, depending on the plan, which is great for small teams. SEMrush is more expensive. The lowest plan starts at $139.95 a month, and each extra user costs quite a bit more. Some features like historical data or white label reports only come with the higher plans. But here's the thing. SEMrush isn't trying to be a budget tool. It's built for professionals and agencies. So if you're just starting out, Uber suggests is easier on the wallet. But if you need more advanced features, SEMrush gives you a lot of value for what you pay. Which one is easier to use? Uber suggests has a clean layout and everything is easy to find. Even if you've never used an SEO tool before, you'll be able to figure it out pretty quickly. It also works well on mobile, so you can check reports or keywords on the go. SEMrush looks more complex at first. There's a lot going on because it does a lot more. But once you get used to it, the layout actually saves time. You get better graphs, filters, and shortcuts that make everyday tasks faster. So if simplicity is your priority, Uber suggests wins. But if you don't mind a short learning curve, SEMrush is built to scale with you. How do they compare for backlinks and link building? Backlinks are still a big deal in SEO. If other sites link to yours, Google sees that as a sign of trust and that can boost your rankings. So having a tool that helps you understand your backlink profile is important. Both SEMrush and Ubersuggest offer backlink tools. You can see who's linking to your site, how strong those links are, and what your competitors are doing. But this is one area where SEMrush clearly stands out. SEMrush's backlink tools include backlink analytics to research any domain's backlinks with filters for type, geolocation, etc. The backlink audit is particularly noteworthy. It evaluates the quality of your site's inbound links, assigns a toxicity score to each, and can compile a list of potentially harmful links. SEMrush also offers a backlink gap tool to compare your backlink profile against competitors and proactive features like email reports for new and lost links. Ubersuggest gives you the basics, referring domains, new and lost links, anchor text, and the main authority. It actually uses Moz's link index instead of its own. So the data is solid, but not as deep as SEMrush's. You can also compare backlinks with competitors using a feature similar to SEMrush's backlink gap. It's helpful, but limited by Moz's smaller index. But there's no built-in audit system, no toxicity score, and no disavow tool. You would have to export the links and handle them manually. So while Ubersuggest covers the fundamentals, it lacks the advanced link analysis and automation SEMrush provides. So if you're actively trying to build authority or doing outreach, SEMrush gives you the tools to do it properly. So which one should you go with? If you're just starting your SEO journey or you run a small blog or business, Ubersuggest is a great place to begin. It's affordable, easy to use, and covers the basics well. You get keyword data, content ideas, site audits, and even some AI writing tools, all without breaking the bank. But if you're serious about growing traffic, outranking competitors, or scaling your content and marketing efforts, SEMrush is built for that. You're not just getting an SEO tool, but an entire digital marketing platform. The keyword database is massive. The content strategy tools are smart. And if you're running ads, tracking multiple sites, or working with clients, the advanced reporting and integrations make a huge difference. Yes, it's more of an investment, but it's one that can pay off fast if you're focused on growth. It gives you the visibility and tools to compete at a higher level. Whichever tool you go with, the most important thing is to actually use it. SEO isn't magic, it's consistency. The best tool is the one you open, apply, and learn from every day. And that's it for my detailed comparison of SEMrush versus Ubersuggest. If you would like to try out SEMrush, I have an exclusive deal for a 14-day free trial instead of seven days. And you can find that 
by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Till next time.